Hi everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. I hope you're having a great day. I'm here with um, another unboxing. Um, this is the Archer and Olive quarterly subscription box um, for the summer. Um, I just received it and I'm excited to see what it is. Um, it looks like it's a summer camp theme which I'm excited about because uh, I really I really do love summer and and I feel like summer is one of my more um, creative seasons and uh, I did enjoy last year's Archer and Olive um, summer box it did spark a lot of creativity so I'm excited to see what is happening this year so I like this olive green um, design. The quote says, Welcome to summer camp. At Camp A&O, we encourage you to be creative, fearless, and embrace your mistakes. Get settled into your bunk. Go ahead and earn some merit badges and explore your creativity along the way. Uh, that's a really interesting message. I wonder if it's a precursor of, of things that are going to be in here. Maybe they will include um, merit badges and challenges. Um, I don't know. That sounds interesting and something I definitely would be keen to do. There was a bit of background noise as I was taking out each of these items from the box. So here is what they were. Two packages of stickers, a set of camp themed postcards. There were three sets of pen in this box, which I was really excited about. Two Archer and Olive hardcover notebooks and a glass water bottle. As soon as I get this box out of the way, we'll get back to the video. Start. Um, I was gonna say tearing into these, but no, we'll open them <laughs> in a civilized fashion. Uh, though I may be impatient, so um, just get a little closer. I'll do the notebooks last. Um, I kind of want to see how the water bottle looks, so let's do that first. Oh, we've got a wooden top um, and the water bottle has like this scalloped edging it's frosted here it's clear here that's quite um, that's quite elegant um, so I look forward to that I do have um, I usually put a cozy around these glass water bottles I may have to make a new one because this is narrower than the glass water bottles that I have um, just because I want to have like that extra layer of protection and sometimes if you have something cold you get the condensation on the outside of the glass so um, if I do end up making one I will um, share the process that would be crocheted and um, maybe like a white would be really nice with um, and maybe I could copy like this scalloped edging with like peacocks or something so I look forward to that. Now um, let's do like one of these larger boxes. Maybe I jump the gun by opening the water bottle first and I probably should open the welcome kit. So let's, let's go ahead with that. So we've got, oh, this is fun. So we've got, uh, and it, it is very camp themed. Uh, we've got a patch, always be creative and try new things. This is, um, it looks like y we may have to like either iron this on or sew it on. Uh, let's see what the directions say. Uh, the merit badge, it says stick it or pin it to your vision board. Um, so it's not sticky at all. Um, so I will figure this out. What I like to do is put these like inside the uh, the cover of my traveler's notebook covers um, to have something to look at. So I think I'll do that with this one. 
Um, I do have a navy blue traveler's notebook that I'm getting ready to set up. And I think that, I think this would look great on that. Uh, maybe right here so that when I open it up, I can see it. Um, so there's an idea. Next, we have a pennant says you got this um, now what would I do with this I would probably put it on a bulletin board maybe keep it on my desk like um, like some desk decor then we've got the um, keychain this kind of reminds me of an old hotel key um, like like a motel key like from um, like when you're traveling and you stop at these places so this says small progress is still progress um, I may use this um, we've got the lobster claw so I might clip it to my bag so those are pretty cute um, and I like the box um, so I think I'm going to use the box for something so I'm going to put it aside. Um, now we have the uh, the pack of fine liners. So I think I want to. We've got three writing tools. So let's we'll open those together. We'll open them one after another. Um, the first one is the writing tool set. Um, and these are two pens. Um, or I wonder if this is a. Uh, oh, this is a mechanical pencil. I love, oh, I forgot to say when I was talking about the, like, the evolution of Archer and Olive's writing implements, I didn't mention the mechanical pencil, and I should have, because this mechanical pencil has been uh, with me, and I think this is the third of my monthly planner setups where I've had the mechanical pencil, and I absolutely love it. It's like a very fine point. Um, it looks like a ballpoint pen, but you see the, the lead is coming out there. Um, and it's retractable um, and again we've got this really beautiful orange and green um, camp colors which I like uh, and this is it's a regular pen um, but it feels quite like heavy and substantial this is a very nice pen um, and I think the set is really beautiful. Like we're getting into like that premium stationary feel now. So next, uh, let's look at the journaling pen set. So with uh, where it says journaling pen set, I wonder if this is going to be like a brush lettering type of uh, collection. Oh, it looks like it is. So we've got a calligraph. Um, which I mentioned before um, in my little like summary of how they have Archer and Olive has created different writing implements and the calligraphs I love because we've got the fine brush tip so this is really akin to um, the Fudanisuke type of brushes where um, I think they're great for beginners that are doing brush lettering. And then we have the broad brush tip, which I myself don't brush letter with this side, but I do use these for like coloring. Um, I use it for highlighting and for making broad strokes. And I, I love using the smaller tip for actual like brush scripts and things like that and then we have a fine liner color pen uh, it says it's four millimeters and that um, we have like that same type of barrel design that I've seen on like those multi-pack of fine liner sets um, so like, I think like Bianyo um, or something like those sets on Amazon where, where it's like multi sets they, they kind of have this little notch that comes out um, so the barrel feels very familiar and it's a black pen um, so again very different for Archer and Olive but um, 
I think it's a really welcome addition so that you can do these fine detailing um, and stay within the brand if you're if you like to do that um, type of thing and lastly is the pack of fine liners so I wonder if they're going to be like these and maybe be varied in the size of the nib so we'll see oh these are multicolored okay so it's the same type of pen but they're just different colors so we've got uh, looks like gray yellow red fuchsia and green um, so again very nice colors for like if you're journaling and um, putting in finer details in here um, I think that's a very nice addition to to their collection I look forward to using them um, I really like fine liners for these just for my planning and for writing notes um, the next thing I'm gonna open is the set of motivational postcards um, so these are again we have like that kind of varsity camp feel small progress is still progress um, I like the size of this this looks like um, looks like a b6 size so I would I would be interested in using these as dashboards um, in my next planner setup maybe not this one because it's, it's green it's not really coordinating well um, but uh, like in another green planner and I really like the message so we have two of each it looks like small progress is still progress never stop exploring this is a beautiful color um, like it's very vintage inspired I love like the little motor home here making mistakes is okay again like I, I love the colors this is like a it's like a very soft cool blue and then we have that pop of mustard and lastly you've got this the you've got this I think would be nice inside that blue um, TN um, oh and then we've got like the blue the blue patch that that would be a nice um, a nice setup for summer I'm thinking about using this TN for August so um, I will keep you posted for that um, but I really I really like these um, even though they're postcards I don't know if I would send them out oh you could because they are set up like postcards maybe I could set, send out one to a friend and keep the other for myself um, so we will see and then um, lastly I think I'm going to keep these out uh, yeah I'm not going to put them back in the box in the, the box we've got like that magnetic closure so this would be nice to repurpose as something um, and then we have the adventuring stickers and the merit badge stickers I'm gonna do the adventuring stickers first so this says let's go exploring okay and it looks like they are a full sheet of stickers oh this is lovely so we've got like that minimal um, design here these look like oh, they're cut like stamps I don't know if you can see the the cut I will um, just peel part of it um, but it's, it's cut like a stamp so that would be really nice for your journaling spreads I think I've been very into like stamp ephemera lately and and these are both the same um, it's two sheets with the same design that's what I'm trying to say uh, then we've got stars uh, I thought this was a border at first but it's not they're just like clusters of three stars we've got a couple of those stickers 
Then we have um, little camping icons, then a couple of words, and then these are actual border stickers, um, like a, just a tiny border washi. Um, speaking of washi, I there's no washi in this collection. I kind of miss that because washi is my favorite uh, crafting tool. Uh, maybe I shouldn't say my favorite because I feel like everything's my favorite. But I really enjoy using washi. And the art art journal of washi tapes are always so beautiful. It would have been really... Let me take these out again. It would have been really nice to see um, like washi tapes with like these types of designs, the icons, maybe the trees. Um, I do have some emails sitting in my email box from Archer and Olive that I haven't opened because I didn't want to spoil this unboxing for myself. I, I do like to be surprised. So I wonder if maybe in those emails, Archer and Olive is going to offer additional add-ons for this camping collection or like, you know, re release some type of camping collection um, launch for summer. If they do, would I buy washi tape? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of like on a, on a no buy for washi tape because I have a lot that I'm... Um, working through and um i do allow myself like getting the washi as part of this subscription um and i haven't been like buying outside washi so um I i'll also have to update you guys as to whether i buy washi um so these are the merit badge stickers and these are also really pretty um, it says successful brainstorming session. I made a mistake and it was okay. I created something just because tried hard at something new. So these would be really wonderful for end of the day or end of the week, um, checking in or reflection type of journaling entries. Um, but I don't know. I think that these would also be nice on a bookmark. Um, because some of these shapes, like they have that, um, not, not a regular, but, but there's an interesting like curve here. So a bookmark with this at the top and having the, the bookmark follow that shape might be nice so that this would peek out of the top of the book. Um, and then if it's a bookmark, I understand how it might not make sense to have a bookmark that said I made a mistake, but maybe, maybe like a hidden paper clip. So then we could re reuse these messages because the, the colors of the stickers are just so bright not to be seen all the time, I think. Um, so I will, um, I will definitely have to. I think I'm gonna keep these out. I'm not gonna put them back. I think I, I have an idea for this that I want to use right away. And um, if I, if I put them away, I will be less likely to make my idea right away. So I'm gonna keep them out and do something. Maybe I'll film it. Um, okay. So now, uh, before I let you guys go. I want to do a little um, pen test swatch of these writing implements. So I've got my uh, my swatch book here. So here's the calligraph by Archer and Olive. It looks like I, I filled up that whole um, section with my collection, but these two are where the overflow is going, so I'll do my swatch here. Um, now, here is the black. I should start with the broad tip first. Oh, that's so black, and it's so juicy. 
that's really nice um so you can see how like dark it is like almost no light escaping it's like a, a true 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 black then we have the um the fine tip and again uh very nice um, the true black and and I can just feel like so pigmented very excited to use this um, this would be a great brush lettering pen um, now what I also want to do is I think I'm gonna use this page for the fine liner pens as well so I'll just probably do it on this side um, and I'll write out oh you know this would be a great area to write out fine liner with the um, with the archer and olive tip on that calligraph um, so that's great now um, let's whenever I swatch I kind of do them in like shade order so I'll start with the black I'll go to um, gray, and I think I'll do the red, the fuchsia, the green, and then the yellow. So the black is, is really nice. Um, like I said, it's a point four. It glides on the paper very smoothly. Uh, then we've got the gray. Uh, for writing, I really enjoy a gray. Um, my favorite pen color is blue, which I know uh, not typical of lots of planner people. They really prefer black. I prefer blue, um, but you know, apart from blue, blue, other colors that I like to use are gray and, and brown. So the gray also like very nice maybe I should move the camera closer um, so that you can see you know more of the color now this is the uh, this is the red um, so the red also very pretty um, I feel like it's pulling a little bit more orange or it's, it's like a, kind of like a warm red as opposed to like a cool uh, fire truck red uh, now this is the fuchsia um, the fuchsia is a little bit lighter than I thought it would be um, based just just and just based on my, how the how the pen cap looked um, but you know it's a beautiful color nonetheless then we've got the green and this um, is like a true Kelly green um, so I think that's totally appropriate for summer and then we've got the yellow um, and yellow is a hard color to do I think um, in a collection because it doesn't show up that well usually but um but i think it shows it shows here it, it would be interesting to see how this appears on a black paper um, which i do have let's see if um maybe we can do a pen test in the back um okay so here's a black notebook uh, it doesn't it, this won't show up on a black paper at all uh, I think it if it was a gel pen it would but um, yellow is, is not a yellow is a color that I love but I don't always use it as a marker and it's just because of that that it doesn't show up that well on the paper so um, this would be an interesting challenge to see if I could find a like an innovative way to use the yellow um, in my journaling so um, so there that's it those are uh, that is everything oh no actually that's not everything we got the notebooks 
Um, the notebooks are like buried under the boxes that I've been discarding as I've been opening everything. So uh, I apologize. Let me, um, let's bring this back up and let's look at the notebooks now. Um, but my prognosis is I, I really like the, um, I like the pens. It would have been great to see um, or to receive as part of the box a pencil case, like a pen case, only because um, I think this is like the most pens that that have been sent in one at one time, maybe. Um, so to, to kind of like to store them or to carry them around so I could use them, that would have been appreciated. Uh, all right, so now this is the dot grid notebook and it's the traveler's size. Oh, this is cute. So it's a linen cover and um, we've got that great little camper on the front with, um, with some, some speckles. I, I really like this. This is, this is a gorgeous, fabric treatment and then um, the inside we've got uh, like a um, foiled uh, I guess end papers and then we've got the pocket uh, so I, I love this I would have loved to see this on the pocket but um, what I usually do is put put another like piece of scrapbook paper just so that the pocket can pop out a little bit um, but since this is gold, maybe I can put, you know, put some of my washi tape to use and put some additional embellishment on the back pocket. Then, um, you know, the, the standard dot grid pages on the inside. Now, um, I think this is, this is like too pretty to put in a cover. Um, if I did, I might put put in like a clear cover just to protect this um, but this is really something I would want to take with me on the go like when I'm art journaling as I'm outside during the summer so beautiful uh, can't wait to use that now we've got the second one it is um, the a5 dot grid This one, oh, this is a navy blue, again, linen cover. And we've got the pennant detail on the front. It's in gold and it says, you got this. Um, I, I really like this. This reminds me of, um, it's ev it, even though it's camp themed, I feel like it's coll it could be collegiate themed as well. Like, you know, you're going to college and You've got your notebook with you. So again, the uh, that beautiful foiled paper. Um, we've got the back cover. I mean, the back pocket and the the dot grid pages. Um, so the the feel of this, it, you know, I don't know if it, it might not be linen. It's it's like a fabric, but it's um it feels very smooth, whereas this one has a little bit more texture to it. So two very beautiful journals. I can't wait to journal with them. Um, so there is the whole collection. Let's see, we've got the stickers, those um, implements, postcards, and I've got that other group of stickers here. And I'm 
keeping them out because I, I, I want to use them right away. So, uh, so there you, you have it. That is the subscription box from Archer and Olive for summer uh, with the camp theme. Um, I'm very happy with this especially with those pens. Oh, I forgot to um, do the pen test with the, the regular pen and the colored pencil. So let's just flip back to this Archer and Olive page and we'll do that pen. Uh, there's a little, uh, so there's the protector on the tip of the ballpoint um, to keep it from drying out. Uh, so it's very smooth um, and the ink is nice and pigmented and again like I, I love the, the feel of this pen it feels like it's just very premium um, this would go nicely with the uh, I think it might be a little too fat to fit inside here but that would be oh there we go so there we go very like neat neat and together looking oh and the water bottle so there's the collection um for archer and olive subscription kit for summer very happy i can't say that enough and um i will be sharing what i create with with these tools um i hope everybody is having a great day did you get um this collection as well um, let me know in the comments, um, you know, where will you be getting it? Um, are you excited for summer and summer journaling and summer creativity? Have a great day, everybody, and I will see you soon. Bye.